how did it how do they fit him in though isn't he too big i don't i don't i don't understand how they manage that that's crazy Man, I love the dancing frog one. That was that one was the greatest. Oh my god, he spit on that thing. Hawk to it. Sheesh. Is there a mod out there that makes the llama spit sound like Hawk to it? Welcome to Minecraft Live 2024. We're coming to you from is, the home of Minecraft here at our office. Is this overdubbed? This seems off. Is that overdubbed? So true. Ba Bablu Sedge. Why are we Sedge? I don't know, but so true. Oh my god, that is a nasty pig. For you, with the latest and greatest things coming to the world of Minecraft. A brand what is, new what is that? What is that? Inside what is that? Team, Back there? A sneak peek into the wider world of Minecraft. What is some exclusive copying Nintendo Direct with the dub? Oh yeah, and and Nintendo about to sue. For Vanilla Minecraft is coming very soon. In fact, You'll be playing it in the next few months. The community has Horses. always been at the heart of Minecraft. Your creativity and passion for 15 years and counting inspires us to create, both inside and outside of our games. Thinking back to those early days, even the official like an Minecraft elk game thing bat with was made it. by like the community. Purple? When I first started yeah. playing Minecraft in 2000, like oh. this wonderful community Turn it up. video was one of the first things I ever saw about the game. Yeah. Whenever I Llama? It, that's not he's got like I antlers. Think back to my though. first moments playing. Llamas don't have antlers. This game has changed so Llama kind of with antlers. Oh, mine. of course. Let's go to a place this where is, everything is made of blocks. With the only limit, oh, is moose. Your imagination. Let's go wherever you want to go. Climb the tallest mountains. Venture down to the darkest caves. Man, this trailer would bomb you want. nowadays. Day or night. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to play this game. He this is, is Steve. You'll ever set foot in. Build a majestic castle. Invent a new machine. Or take a ride Bro, that he made a castle Better using what? Netherrack as the roof? Oh man, back when we had didn't have materials. And fight off the dangers of the night. No one can Dude, there's a TikTok live code? What does that mean? This what do you mean TikTok live code? To you. Minecraft. What? That's right, new wheel of Can we get some soft hype though? Money. It's a different mask? Oh. Oh. Thank you for the sub. Free sub for 34 months. I started working on Minecraft and Minecraft related projects nearly 14 years ago. At first, I was coding back when Mojang had a small apartment turned office here in Stockholm. Now I'm Mojang's chief Minecraft of Live. And I try my best to help all our teams to create the greatest Minecraft experience. <laughs> The world of Minecraft is still growing in many ways, and you might wonder how it's possible for us to explore so many stories and interpretations of the universe. Does anyone have a link the to a place I can watch for the Minecraft TikTok thing? This since the beginning. Every player has their own story to tell and their own take of what Minecraft is. We take inspiration from that creativity when we explore new things. Minecraft Dungeons told the story uh, of the furniture. Where's the give us the furniture? Hello, Neo. You lead mobs into battle with a piglin invasion. Today you'll hear about some of you the talk to me. Hi, hi. telling stories beyond you know you're looking and exploring more interpretations of what Minecraft can be. Soon we'll get to see the world of Minecraft brought to life on the big screen thanks to our upcoming film, a Minecraft movie. I had the opportunity to travel all the way to New Zealand and finally see the production. New Zealand. Film. It's one example right, of well. how Minecraft is growing in entertainment, but at the heart of it all is still the game. The team working on Minecraft are ambitious real quick. want to create the best tools and technologies that will help us and creators to make more Minecraft stories. The core vanilla gameplay team did a tremendous job with Tricky Trials. Now we're planning to have a change of pace in terms of releasing new features. Earlier this year, they released the Armored Force drop, 
which included armadillo and new wolf variants. Here, they and the ambition the is to continue to drop more feature nuggets, nuggets more frequently. These more regular updates will replace the yearly summer update that you might be used to. This will also allow us to consider long-term right. improvements uh, to ensure we can build Minecraft for the long run. When we expand into new areas, our primary creative principle is that it starts with vanilla. All right, well, I have a... Just as the trailer you saw, that is here, if anyone wants, still our favorite there, that might, that might work. Just, you can rely on us. That, it might work, I'm not sure. Uh, if anyone wants to join the TikTok live as well and get that. That's a live Minecraft thing. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know. It's the first one I found, so. Yes, kill? Hello everyone, I hope you all are well. As Jens mentioned, well, I can't top don't left with a three minute countdown. And today we are One of my codes were daddy, nice. That we have been working on. And both of them will release within the next few months. A little bit later in the show, we will, for the first time, show you a completely new drop that adds a new biome with its own unique mood. But before that, we would love to start with our next drop. It's a combination of two things many of you have been wishing for. It's hardcore mode in bedrock and bundles. And we call it bundles of bravery. Bundles? Two amazing, clever team members. Oh, like on top team. left. On top left. Wow, do I have to... Hardcore mode is work. your traditional Minecraft experience. Oh, Except crap. I don't have my phone. I don't know. Things are... So, uh, do I have... Playing maybe hardcore I have to watch... mode brings back uh, that feeling of the first time that you play Minecraft. Because everything is new. Everything is dangerous. But now your entire playthrough, everything is dangerous all the time. And that adds All the time dangerous? That That's crazy. For everything that you do. Everything is new. Everything <sighs> is scarier. Because you crazy to make any Is there, you just saw Kyle's butt Java what a lucky what a, we have a very different menu uh, experience for getting into hardcore mode. what a lucky time so for you in bedrock we have this nice little toggle that you flip that says I want to play this in hardcore mode but my favorite part is that in the corner where you have your little image of your world that you're about to join a little outline appears and then the hardcore heart the like starts to pulse there so you really know that you're gonna have a very difficult experience in front of you I don't have the TikTok tab on oh, here. Yeah. You get into a routine, and you do things on the regular. Are they going on? You know, normal for you. But when you play chaotically, mode, you have to break that routine and create an entirely new way to play that is maybe a little bit more risk averse, unless you want to play very often, very short bursts. Um, but your experience is always going to be unique and very different because that one life to live changes the entire way that you play. Oz Popper. I'm super excited for you to try hardcore mode. And maybe you'll feel a little safer if you're able to bring those extra items with you in the new bundles. Bundy Wundies. This is Matthew, take one. We added I miss the mob boat. I'm gonna be real with y'all. So in old versions of Minecraft, if you were digging... But no, the internet just... Every time I was trying to defend the mob, the chat yelled at me, but you're missing out. You're going to get a lot of bundles. Even if it's only 64 blocks in total, they're going to take a lot of inventory slots because they don't stack together. A bundle lets you pack those items together, reclaim that space, and have an inventory that feels like it did back in the early days of Minecraft. When we first came up with the idea for the bundle, we wanted to make sure it was actually going to be useful. So we watched a whole lot of streams of players playing survival Minecraft. We waited until they opened their inventory and then we took a screenshot. Then we went through all these screenshots and we said, what could this player do if they had a bundle? What we found is that most people would be able to find new, new and Mr. Carbs. Slots or more, which gave them a lot of- Imagine they announced the Moo Bloom is coming. The main advantage of using a bundle is that you can go out for longer. If you're going out on your first adventure, you can pack things into a bundle and have a lot more space in your inventory before it fills up and you have to come home. God, finally. There are a lot of it's one of the things I hate most. Like, I just feel like I can't do anything because I'm carrying up so much stuff friend, all the time. Dye a bundle in their favorite color and give it to them with their favorite items inside. Bundles are also an interesting roleplay item or it could be used in storytelling. 
the idea of having a little bag is just kind of inherently cute and fun. I'm cute and fun, let's be real. Ah! Villager <laughs> news! Breaking news! We interrupt this Minecraft Live broadcast for a special report. There's been a monster sighting! Here's villager number nine! Thanks, number five! Villager number fifteen! Is this gonna be a new mob? Is it gonna be a new mob? Is this a new mob? Announcement? I'm not lying! I was with my group and the monster it got all of them! They're all gone! Maybe they just don't like you, you know, because of all the lies. What? That's ridiculous! I'm alright to put an end to these clear fabrications. I'm gonna go into the spooky forest and prove there's no right. monster. Sp I'm right, spooked. Oh, you're heading into the woods. Very well, but I must warn you. Witches have dialogue? That's crazy. Why not? Oh no, this is just the entrance, darling. The exit's over there. Village news add on? That'd be great. Alright, come on. Everybody keep their eyes peeled for monsters. Of course we know there's no such thing. What about zombies? Or skeletons? Or just oh, the dragon. Oh, well, it it didn't look like any of those. Alright, what did it look like? Uh I couldn't see it clearly. It was behind a tree. Hmm. Convenient. Hey, wait. Does anyone feel like we're being watched? I hope so. Uh, all right. the time. I don't know why. Something yeah, about I just hear that? Hear what? The, the for some reason I feel like I'm being watched right now. I don't know. Hey wait, where's village number 31? Is that XP? Ah! The monster got him! Oh, no! Oh, no! It's happening again! Oh, no, that could have been anybody's XP. And emeralds. And sign that says I'm village number 31. Help me. I'm being attacked by a monster. It's circumstantial at best. Let's move on. Hmm, yeah, that, that does make sense. All right, well, I'm convinced. Yeah, let's keep going. I'm never convinced. I thought he said there were monsters. Yeah, yeah where's the monsters? Monster? All right, we've been here for a while, and we haven't seen any monsters. Yeah, we should make our way back. Uh, which yeah. Is that again? Big news villagers don't oh, drop no, XP? No, or do they? He's a cartographer. Where's village number 47? Hey, somebody left a map and all this XP. <gasps> Maybe there is a monster. There's Maybe that's the update. Maybe we're gonna villagers are giving us XP. Oh, Bye bye. Take care. Have fun. Oh no, villager number nine. Villager number nine, are you there? Is anybody there? Hmm. I guess we'll never know what caused Spooky. the tragic chain of events. But it definitely wasn't a monster. Oh well. Sorry for interrupting the show. Villager number nine. Oh, he's a classic villager. <laughs> Villager news. It's been a long time since I first announced our Minecraft movie. We've taken our time to assemble an incredible team and to create an original fun filled take on the Minecraft oh. universe. Game reward. Mojang, I think I I think I got a TikTok. Brothers and legendary. I think we'll give me it says game reward. Hess, and some amazing content creators. We're bringing Minecraft to the big screen in a way you've never seen before. All with the goal of authentically capturing the spirit. Love you. Give us mob vote back. People who play, love and care about the game as much as you do. Let's hear from some fellow Minecrafters and take a closer look at how we made this film. Oh yeah, I got a timer now. Okay. Yeah, I think you. The only way to get the uh, it might you might have to do it on mobile TikTok only. I, that, yeah, TikTok's weird like that, but I have a countdown on my time. Oh no. No. Oh, Aiden. Man, to be able to celebrate that fun, amazing, creative spirit that is Minecraft, it was just like. A dream come true. This is what I this is what I'm here for. What is Hashtag Minecraft movie. Really wanted to honor the world and then spending like Are those actual props? I love those. Those are great. Journey 
I needed all of these in my life. Bro, they what? I thought it was gonna just be like all green screen, but they actually went physical. The director does look like Steve. Stories and short films and content um, in the animation space, and it was like, oh, this is the chance for us doing a film to do something different. And also, kind of wish fulfillment because I always wonder, is like, what would happen if I would wake up inside the Minecraft world? Like, how how would I survive? Like the trailer? Well, you're boring. The trailer is peak. The idea of being peak human beings trailer, baby. actually going into this cubic dimension of the overworld and how those characters are engaging in that space and. It just seemed like so much fun. Oh, look at the cute little pupper wolf. Like That's cute. Done. We had just an absolutely amazing crew of talented artists. You know, our production designer, Grant Major, he was the production Bro, the, the back Lord of the Rings crowd, the props look we great. We also are working with Weta. I could be Steve. They all had their own personal relationship with the game. So when Not bring the regular the characters back and have them be the main focus? Uh, what do you mean main characters? You have Steve. That is literally the only main character. What I like about what you did is, is that the choices you make, they support the story and the character. Part of that is because just like every Minecrafter, every player, they bring their own original story to what they're doing. It's very intentional that this movie is called the Minecraft mess. movie as opposed to the Minecraft movie. We have an ensemble of characters, these unlikely misfits that get thrown into this adventure into the overworld and we experience a lot of that through one of our characters named henry who's a young man going through a tough time in his life and and he literally has to create to survive you know i saw him on the page and i was like reading the script like oh wait he's like you know a young kid hanging in his room like building and making stuff but that's what he is he's like a maker and he's a mm -hmm. creator such a big part of my has been the creative community you stand up i'm not so i'm not the real eminem i'm not standing up so you can see my pants basically the mother the person who takes the vanilla game and tweaks it and adjusts it and then he comes into the minecraft world and he meets steve and steve knows everything that is steve We've always hell yeah steve isn't really a character like steve is what you make him right yeah and 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 we've all and he steve and ben is steve, steve. And things so uh our steve in this movie i love it he such a huge fan of the game after a long day of shooting he was up until the wee hours of the night playing and it was so funny because he would show up be like oh dude SMOD, we gotta try this thing, dude. You know, some build that he did or something gnarly that happened to him. He just loves the idea that he's able to bring his version of Steve to life. Play from the top one more time. Figuring of crafting was super fun. When the they game play Bedrock W. Oh, yeah. Book, and people were like, wait, what if I, what happens if I put these things like that? When Garrett's character and these new characters come into the world, they don't know the recipes. They don't know what to do. The Jason Momoa character, Garrett, is a guy that was like a world championship video gamer in the late 1980s and he kind of peaked then but he's still stuck in the past he's got a little bit of arrested development he's yes. holding on to that former glory we want to show you a short scene that shows henry and garrett and steve steve we henry. should invite them to play the role yeah jack black uh cameo uh do you think he would like mario town in uh, 2.5 Here's how it works. You place these elements in different patterns and I want the I want that sword. So bad. That actually looks sick. <laughs> that looks sick. I'll show you a blade. Yeah. Hammer. It's okay, bud. Buckets are useful here. When we were designing, <laughs> crafting, and talking about buckets are useful, dude. They're gonna MLG. They're gonna MLG bucket. Let's go. We looked at the crafting table. We looked at the end game texture, and it has this like super pixelated picture of like a hammer and a saw there on the side. So obviously that was honestly. I am so excited. For, uh, it looks like I got my TikTok drop. We honor the free to play three grid perfectly. And, 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 and thought it would be cool and kind of fun and gratifying to just give it a massive whack and then have things 
up here. Remember when we were trying to figure out the size? Yeah, of the yeah, yeah. I got my, I got my Minecraft TikTok. Looks, when Steve holds a block, looks better than Mauricio. Bit, right? I'm. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The my like. I don't know. I think the Minecraft movie is gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be fun. Scales like sixty centimeters cubed, which is you know two feet by two feet by two feet, and then. The Bro, that, that I did not realize how like how um, how much like actual physical props they had for this. That's awesome. Programmers and we like powers of We had to honor what you experience in the game, but also make it work for human scale for our different characters that are that are you know manipulating the environment and the world and throwing blocks. They got a diamond sword. They did it. They got diamond sword. It still felt natural and organic. Uh, Hundred fifty million dollars. Sheesh. Feel authentic in that way. Still, they could have so easily cheaped out and just green screened the, the whole thing. Like, uh, there's like, here's a huge bonus check for us. Good job on the green screen, everyone. And then called yeah. it a day. You know? Ah, yeah. oh, look at the bee. I actually like the bee. I like the bee. And collaborating He's cute. I don't care. He's as cute. As well as listening to the community to continue to shape and craft the film in a way that's fresh and new, but still authentic to the spirit of the game. Look for more exciting updates soon. I don't know. The more I see, the more I see the Minecraft movie, the more I'm genuinely thinking, oh, this looks nice. I like it. I don't know. I just think the Minecraft movie will just be a fun time. Do you want to adventure through Minecraft biomes in real life? You may have your chance with Minecraft Experience Villager Rescue. Our first real world immersive experience where you'll get to journey through a Minecraft adventure in real life. Let's take a behind the scenes look before it debuts Any in of Dallas this, meme. this October and spawning in cities near you in the future. Olivier Pizzo? The premise of Minecraft experience. First thing Chicken. is authenticity. Uh, our goal is to make sure that it is truly authentic for all of you folks. Uh, the second thing is defining a new lens. Uh, what is happening here? VIP with the brand. This is a story this is thing in a Texas with a new cape? Why, a writer could zombies. do this? We have 17 foot projection walls that we can interact with throughout. Which allows what? Us to do things like fight our mobs, chop down trees, collect. Bro, this is so cool. You do in the game. Only this time you've stepped inside it. What? This is an experience what? where you're gonna see, feel, and hear what it's like to be in Minecraft. World premiere is in Dallas, Fort Worth, and then we'll see where we go. Head to the website and tell us. Oh my God, that's actually so Minecraft. cool. You could just like. Actually, that's sick. What? And now it's time to reveal our completely new job. Release I'd say that's worth months. an hour trip. I would say I would visit from I would visit from Canada to do that. And we created one with its own unique mood and identity. I mean, again, I am a YouTuber, so I could make content out of it, but during daytime, it's quiet. Why this spooky? Like almost serene in the new pale garden. This is spooky. I'm scared. While you might feel Minecraft is a horror game. This forest, there's also an eerie mood. Something isn't quite right. Then, when darkness falls, you indeed feel another side of this place. Like the hanging moss shifts from being pretty. Oh my god, could this should have come out before Fall Town did. Dang it. Alone. There's something lurking in the shadow there is a monster in the woods so everything about this biome feels unfamiliar and this is by design we want you to feel a bit curious <laughs> and and scared like what is this place why is it so different from everything else what we needed for the biome is to have like a low visibility and we've created the pale hanging moss for this this really inhibits all right so like how turn you fire see spread on and for you can see but you can still walk through it so you're traversing through the through the forest and you're like trying to find everything but you don't know what will be behind the hanging moss yeah it's it gives you kind of a strange feeling when you enter it's New moss really quiet and uh, a feeling of something weird is going on here.
I really like the ambiance of the new biome. It invokes really it's those like skulls, you're gonna riot. feelings. Yes, eerie indeed. And turns out there actually is something lurking in the ah! shadows. Ah! Oh, Creaking. Oh. What is that? It's our first tree-like creature, and it's almost Bro. like a flashing in the pale garden. And when it's dark at night, it's kind of hard to see its acceptance, like in its eyes. Yeah, and it also interacts with. Oh my creatures. god, that's horrifying! Yeah, there's a special new block. Is it like the the angels or whatever? Where it only moves when, you when you're not looking at it. Approach the creaking. You can actually realize that it doesn't take any damage, and when you try to hit it. It points you somewhere in the canopy. That's where basically the creaking heart is, and that's what controls the mob. One of the main themes of the Pale Garden. You gotta find its, its heart. What? Is that it's there's a lot of contrast from the rest of the Lurk world. Lurking in the shadows, so we the man. Creaking, we also wanted it to be feel unfamiliar and different from other mobs, which is why we made it more asymmetric to really go on this point of like. <laughs> look at it. Look at the little. Look at the little waddle. It's coming. It's coming. Look at it. The it's going to get you. Doesn't Ooh. exist on its own. It's more of like a puppet of the new block, the creaking heart. So the creaking heart and its creaking puppet. Uh, Bruh, right, I can see people playing puppet, this at like nighttime and then like, you know, really just like you, th you think there's just a tree, the you think it's just a tree, then all of a sudden, bam, it kill, attacks you. And also, of course, that you head into the fridge at 3M for snackies. You look away. So don't blink. I really like the sandboxiness of the creaking heart. It's if I use silk touch, you obtain it, and then you can place it anywhere you want in the Minecraft world. So if you want to be as evil as the creaking heart itself, you can place it and make your friends really terrified. Oh no, this is getting put in my house, isn't it? In the realm. So you guys are. I'm going. I'm getting trolled, aren't I? Sounds for this biome that only plays during the. We're still getting trolled. Comes from the blocks that surrounds you. Um, that will make an even more creepier experience for the player. And to do that, you need to play with the silence and the contrast of the silence and the sounds. So to make creaking, I gathered a lot of creaky stuff. Minecraft used to be simple. Yeah, remember when it was more Obviously, boring? The biggest thing would be to gather. Now we have a lot more cool stuff that we can play with. Oh my god, she killed that tree. And creaking. The but tree I had a son. Recorded. Salty stick. Stick. The Swedish snack. I think it's Swedish. And one of the biggest part actually of the sound is my table creaking, dragging against the floor, and also a chair. I also recorded teeth. It sounds a bit like bones, uh, maybe, uh, when when the mob is walking. So it's. A what do you, What do you mean by teeth? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to make the the biome very gray to give this very eerie feeling right um and with these gray tones a very fitting new wood set was going to be a white colored wood set and this is something that players have wanted for a long time yeah i'm super excited for the pale white wood, wood. it's the, happening we can be based is different between fun and gimmicky you know, like the sniffers and pottery shards that will be exciting for a lot of well, everything's literally a gimmick so sense. and then we also have like the hanging moss uh, and you can bone wheel it, so it's renewable. Uh, so I think like just bringing it as well and maybe put it in a greenhouse and things hang from, from the roof. I mean, we have garden. birch. Something, That's pretty much the same. like that would be really fun to build with it, I think. Yeah, and it's also a really unique carpet moss because it also spreads all over sides of the blocks. So, and that also looks really great. We look for a lot of inspiration. Birch isn't so white. Look at all these kind of different forests all over the world. A tree that stood out was like the the willow tree, like because it's very hanging. There's a lot of like drapery, and it feels uh, very eerie. Yeah, for eyes, and use them. I do use them. Moss. Birch also, trees are white, for the, so uh, hanging moss that we've used in the biome eventually, because this gives this like drapey feeling without being willow trees. And it was a little bit more versatile and flexible to use in the biome, and could also which is white the same way we're moss. white. <laughs> Exactly the best. We are super excited to see what you do with these new features and the new game drop. 
We want to create connections between features because the Minecraft world is an ecosystem and we really want it to feel like that. And the Kriegen Heart and its puppet, Kriegen, uh, really has a new way of creating this kind of connection. So it's going to be really fun to see you all experiencing it. And uh, it's actually coming to Snapshots, Previews and Betas very soon. So soon uh, you can all try it. Snapshot, Previews and Betas, what does it, why, 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 why do they need three Village different things nine. that are like the same Sorry thing? Sorry for interrupting again, but Village number 15 and I have just escaped from the spooky forest. And I'd just like to state, like I said earlier, that I no monsters. Like there is in fact a monster in the woods that looks like wood and sounds like wood. What? That's a lie. You didn't believe that at all. You didn't believe me. But in my heroic foray into the spooky forest, I, villager number nine, single-handedly discovered the creature that I shall now name the crunching. It's called a creaking. It literally just said its name. Mm. Maybe I should go into monster hunting. I'm clearly very good at it. Villager number nine, monster hunter. Mm. It's got a nice ring to it. Well, sorry to interrupt. The look show. at, no, look at him. <laughs> oh no! Stick around with us for the first ever playthrough of the monster got wood. I mean, I think he is 100% wood. Just a few moments. Our developers will take us on a deeper dive through the new game drops as we bravely explore this new biome together. These new game drops can be played in betas and snapshots soon, and will release to everyone in the next few months. We hope you're as excited as us about everything happening in the world of Minecraft. Minecraft wouldn't be what it is today without all of you. From all of us at Mojang Studios, a huge thank you. Oh. Oh, some pork chops right there. Bruh. We're excited that. you're joining us for the after show where we're gonna deep dive into the next game drop with a bunch of people from the team, like this guy right here. Yeah, I'm Marco. I'm a gameplay engineer working on the Bedrock. Center. Where's the mob vote? This game drop. And my name is Anna, and I'm the producer who worked on this game drop. And I'm Jens, uh, chief creator officer. So is that like, is, yes, is that all the announcements we're getting? Drop. I did not. We're gonna drop you into the game and then just- <laughs> Marco <to> single. <laughs> Looking forward to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the game. We have a bunch of different things we're gonna play through. And the first thing we're gonna start with is, don't worry, the pale garden in the daytime. So Jens and Anna will be the first to start playing. What is that guy doing to that spider? What are you doing to that so spider though? So pale. <laughs> getting there, getting there. Oh, yeah, okay. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, so you can see why it's called Pale Garden, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, yeah, we. we and it looks like someone just took the saturation. Uh, just went. Uh, uh, we don't. Did, we didn't want this place to be uh, terrifying, but yeah. we wanted player to feel like there was uh, something wrong, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you contrast this with uh, other biomes like the the dark forest, right? The dark forest is really similar, uh, but like. Yeah, it feels like something is wrong here. It make it, uh, it become pale. Uh, there is all this new vegetation, so you you get the contrast. Yeah, I love how it's just all of a sudden you go from this like bright contrasty world to like desaturated as soon as you walk in. Even the sky is like yes. gray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there's no music. There's uh, some eerie sounds playing. Uh, so now that's why he was gone. What are you doing, Kill? Anna, are you uh, it? They announced <laughs> a new m mob and a new biome <laughs> and white wood. Uh, it's a new family of moss that we are So we have the, the hanging one, but also the block. Uh, so the this is like my first uh, Minecraft live I've actually ever really watched. From the Spanish moss and the white moss. Do, and is this is them into yeah a, a unique block. Uh, I yeah. feel like builders will really like design their world in super cool. This is all we get. Yeah, especially with the moss carpet is really fun because when you place it, uh, it kind of gets a random configuration and creeps up uh, uh, to neighboring blocks uh, up to two blocks tall. It's really cool. And the new wood set, we're going to see a whole village built in yes. it. But it's it's really nice to have that like white <laughs> gray yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> color scheme. Okay, let's look at a creaking before we have to take one on because we're in creative mode, so probably a good time to see it up close. It really... Okay, you can immediately tell how it will blend in with the trees yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the biome. Since right now, I'm like, wait, is 
<laughs> Where is it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like from uh, if you're not. I don't know. Uh, did it glitch out? I don't see nothing. Really, yeah. Uh, hard to tell where it is, and imagine like. Yo, do you think they're gonna get John Cena to play the creaking in the Minecraft movie? Noises, and then you start to see a silhouette. That's uh, it. Um, in the distance, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, um, really something. Uh, that'd be kind of uh, interesting, though. Like they announced, like the, in, uh, in the Minecraft movie, they uh, they secretly announce like a new mob in it. Like it's what yeah. Because it, well, yeah, we can you spawn uh, another one? <laughs> yeah, is that you? <laughs> I, I think we both did. It, 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 you're like on yeah, command. You don't have to ask us <laughs> twice. <laughs> That's like a cue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know that those I are Minecraft. Really cool Minecraft gaming. Tree -like, but it also has these like the legs feel like they're roots in the yes. ground yeah and you like it's actually rooted you if you try to push it you can't because it's rooted in the ground and, he said uh, push not kill just yeah. so we're all good. <laughs> making sure uh so yeah we really wanted to say man you know this you thing, which kill is, uh, someone with pushing to it to the creaking art is involuntary the same thing part of the block is connected to it through roots so you can't move it mm -hmm. uh, um yeah it's pretty amazing to look at it here and when only you play minecraft once a year lucky them so even with its like even with the moss <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah 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 okay jens are you feeling ready because now you're gonna take one on uh outside of this nice safe bell garden <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i'll i'll give it a try <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm usually very cautious and take things very carefully uh, so I think this is going to be a little bit more tricky than I'm used to. I'm not cautious at all. Yeah, I yeah. just <laughs> risk everything all the time. Yes, well, I just run straight into it and then wonder how, how I die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I lose my gear all the time when I'm in survival. I rage quit a lot and then I can't play for a while. because I mean, it usually has to do with lava. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It's yeah. like, from the yeah, that's why you gotta play with keep inventory I on, you know? know. <laughs> it's just, just so much free, more free. Who doesn't love a hot bath, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to think of it next time I die. Okay, Amazing. so yeah, All right, you're pro gonna go gamer man. You're gonna take on the creaking. The three of us are just gonna get to sit here and watch, watch and comment on your playing. Yes. It won't only oh, man, I could use some sort of know, like background the music. Your Minecraft sweat. Find in dark forests. It's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's terrifying. Small I like that it kind of came after you in like a very Fighting aggressive yeah. way. It feels so, like it. Uh, let's see. It felt different in the Pale Garden. Yeah, yeah, it's it did the feel Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's see what, what there, thanks. Here. Okay, let's see. And you have to remake you your full bright razors pack. Ugh. So really far, far, it's very calm. Yeah. It is very calm. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, okay. There it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, there oh, okay. Here they are. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh now there's two of them. Double. Jens, okay. you have two creaking. Okay, wait. Now. now let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And this one. The yeah, particles so are showing. Uh, where they oh, he's waddling. Right? So it's, it's behind me, isn't it? Punch it? But nothing is happening. Bro, yeah, they... literally me at 3 a.m. going to get snackies. Okay. Am I right? Okay, okay, okay. Now he's not looking at the creaking, so they're gonna but sneak up on him. Ow! Oh, yes. <laughs> Anna, okay. you were telling me that that's pretty challenging, like the mob and the block being linked. Yeah. Well, a third I one. Done anything okay. like this before, where you can't oh, actually break yeah. the mob, but you need to find a block that it's interacting with so it was both a fun design challenge and a nice challenge for our engineers oops oh, oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah just commentary oops <laughs> yeah so i'm trying to oh. Oh. there are how do you have so many <laughs> okay okay found no, the i fell down in the no. same hole again okay. i'm so. trying to figure out <laughs> where it is okay okay okay, yeah, that's that's okay. You found one. Okay, so okay. destroyed one. Okay, so you destroyed nice. one, then it's just kind of poofing yes. yeah. away. Okay, yeah, so it, then it uh, falls out. apart. It's getting okay, Thanos the snapped. One, Jens, can you Steve, use silk touch Steve, I don't feel so. Steve, I don't feel so good. Steve, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, walking backwards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not safest. Let's see. Yeah, where is it? I mean, trying to keep your eyes on it. So now I have an axe with silk touch. So now I get it and. That destroys the creaking, and I get uh, the. Here, here you have it, the creaking heart. 
That's amazing. Nice. So, but uh, yeah, it was a quite a calm uh, uh, night. At l anyway, yeah, we, it saw, we got one creeper. Oh, there we have a okay, zombie. It did feel more <laughs> calm. <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, trying to keep this in view while finding the heart is still... I kind of forgot that the zombie would attack me. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm like, this is super easy. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, everything is spawning mm -hmm. at you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm walking backwards. I'm pretty impressed, Jens. I think you did a, a good job. You not only killed a creaking heart, but then you actually like took one with you. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I have, I have, oops, oh. a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> literally a, you know, literally a heart I stealer, you know? Armor, so I'm not literally stealing hearts okay, out so here, man. Oh. Okay, Ladies, so watch oh. out. Oh, it's right okay. there. Uh, it's that, it's that it caught up with you because you lost track of him. Because yeah. not only are they linked, but they also have like a perimeter yeah. that they have to stay yeah. in. They have a territory okay. of uh, territory of blocks, uh, so if okay. they get to the edge of it, they will just, uh, yeah, they won't be able to step further away because they're connected to the block. It's okay. not like they can go yeah. uh, hey, wherever they it's want. Right uh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's right above you. Oh, it's, 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 it's really yeah. staying close um, by. There you go. Nice. Okay. Well All right. That was yeah. very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> three creakings at yeah, the same time. Well, we're getting Thanos snapped out there. Okay, now we're gonna let you rest for a second. After that tough experience <laughs> with the creaking. How, How are you doing, uh, Magenta? How are you doing? What's up with the stream? Hmm, it's, uh, I mean, it's a continuous process, right? Because the moment you build something, uh, then you you have to play it right after, right? To check the if... Uh, you know, the uh, more I get is, used uh, right. to my uh, new settings, I think the, uh, the more I think I like this a lot better. Scheduled on, uh, yeah, certain phases of was it worth the time and everything? Uh, probably not, not. But I do think it is better. Daily. Like More. I'm just loading it on someone's computer and going I get used to this. That's awesome. Well, I mean, that's the dream, right? You just get to play <laughs> Minecraft every day. <laughs> Jens, have you... You've played this before, so you've seen it. This wasn't your yes. first creaking experience. And no, it okay. wasn't. No, so I, <laughs> I asked, uh, can, I ha can I have the, a build? And uh, yeah. And I provide that, so I've been able to play test the latest. I'm really impressed. I yeah. really like it. It's been amazing what the team has made. I think that it's always fun to see like the ideas come to life, and especially with the creaking and the creaking heart, how many different teams had to work on it with art. Yeah, I got like those, yeah, you know, those little the like tables play, you get for like, like TV like dinners. You know, you, you get a little tray. I got those <laughs> for their <laughs> mouse and which keyboard. Which players do with this when it's out? Because that's the most inspiring, of course because our players are so much more creative than we can ever be. Yeah, we had some friends actually create some builds so that we can jump into the game. So now it's going to be Jens and I playing. Woo! I'm going back to like old school days here, playing <laughs> and talking at the same time. So oh, welcome really to today's Let's Play! The idea was that they use the new wood set in all different ways. Mm. And I'm so impressed with how different everything looks. Yeah, there are like so many different things. Uh, that uh, you, white you can, though. Like, the, the thing for we can thing finally that be that based in Minecraft. Like uh, you know, like, yeah, it's uh, there's white wood and it's really fantasy with the lanterns uh, uh, and everything. But there's also like more modern uh, things you can do, right? Uh, I love the modern, like, the. It, you're exactly right. It's very fantasy, but then also yeah. very modern. Anna, you told me thought it had this like millennial gray, which I think is the. I mean, it is. <laughs> exactly. I, I finally really segregate love that for wood. My future builds, I'm gonna use it a lot. But something else I really like besides the color palette is also like the beautiful details. Like if we look at one of the doors, I have these little the metal door. details. It really looks, it, this one looks really different and it has right. almost Well, it looks like we're going to be board. making some new houses <laughs> yeah. in the realm. But I guess it also depends on which build you use it on, which is, makes it extra cool. Oh, we have some like moss. W door. Yes. It, is yeah, yeah, yeah. it is a nice door. See, yeah, it's really versatile and that's a bit of, uh, uh, I don't know, extra dimension, I guess, to the builds so because, yeah, it overlaps and creates interesting effects uh, and uh, it's super easy to use. You just place it, it gets a random configuration, so you get a bit of variety. Mm. And I oh, love... Yeah this little sapling w clan door indeed 
not even a house, just a bunch of saplings <laughs> that I can look at and think are so cute. <laughs> yeah, the shape is really something. It's like twisted uh, and uh, yeah, with the branches coming down. Uh, it kind of looks like a gingerbread house, yeah, not going to lie. Can you show us uh, a way, this was your idea, Marco, mm -hmm. of how you might use the creaking. Maybe it's just because I got Christmas yourself? on my mind. Mentally, your, I'm in Christmas. Your village? Not even yeah, mentally you know, at Halloween like yet. Kind of like, ah. So the same way the, the players could use it to protect their own base by creating devices that activate and yeah, uh, fend off enemies. Uh. So this is a piston that's going to, I mean, because- That's going to do what to a sheep? You can only mm -hmm. have the creaking heart work when it's in between two pale wood yeah. blocks? Yeah, exactly. And they need to be aligned mm -hmm. uh, the same uh, yeah, the same direction as the creaking heart because it is, you know, it's a log block with something uh, inside. So it needs to be- uh, to be aligned, and once it's uh, it's in the right configuration, it will activate. Okay, are you gonna activate it, Jens? It needs to be night time as well. Oh yes. Okay. Well, now it's oh. night. Ta -da. All right. We have night. <laughs> She's defrosting <laughs> corn. Uh, the sliver. Okay. No, 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 no. Keep her, see. keep her frosted. Keep her frosted. Oh, oh, I, I, hear, it. oh. I hear it. Yeah. Oh. There it is. It is. So, it, <gasps> so it, uh, this little contraption made it. Mm -hmm. made so it you. I I had other plans than like using it for protection. I was thinking of mm -hmm. more like <laughs> more more scheming. Mm -hmm. Pranking. Uh. Mm. I love that idea too. Okay, they do a little bit of trolling. They tr yeah, do okay, the creaking. Good. You I know. Was like, oh yeah, protect the village. <laughs> <laughs> what about scare everyone? <laughs> yeah. I so. love how it activates too, and the mm -hmm. color changes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Since you're, it requires a you know a configuration for w to work, we wanted to give the uh, players some feedback. And yeah, you, you're doing the right thing. Now it, it lights up, and then once it's night, it will actually spawn the creaking. A uh, fun thing also is that if you like, if now you deactivate the piston, uh, the block will, uh, uh, the creaking guard will still stay on because as a creaking spawned. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You see, now it stays yeah. because otherwise it would be too easy, right? You just remove the log, which takes uh, like. I don't know, nothing seconds if you have uh, an axe uh, and then the creaking disappears. Instead, we want you yeah, to, to actually engage with the block and destroy it. Okay, so once it's activated, you have yes. to destroy it. Yeah. Destroy the block. You mm. can't just exactly. destroy yeah. everything yeah. around it. That's or you wait for, for days. Use right? the block to destroy the, the block. The will disappear. It can be a long yeah. wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I, I just want to say, like, uh, the, the new wood set is, is really nice. Uh, but also, the creaking like, will be like perfect for like Halloween effect. builds and, and stuff. In, you you in, know, in, that'll in be great. Garden, like everything is desaturated and the sky is desaturated. Well, I'd make so anything you spooky also, creaking, you know? Wood type out, you can bring other wood types in and actually build something in a completely different environment mm -hmm. that makes it feel yeah. very, very unique. Uh, I really like that. That's a really good idea for all of our builders, which is definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go to our very last challenge. I am definitely not doing it though. <laughs> Marco, <Okay. laughs> you said Let's you wanted go. to take Yen yes. on. Yeah. So we've built a full arena for the two of you, player versus player. <laughs> what you're gonna do is inside the arena, there's a grass side and a sand side. Mm -hmm. Marco, which one are you? Your grass? grass. Yep. Yen's your sand. In the arena, Sans there Undertale? Of creaking hearts and with creaking spawning all over you need to use silk touch take the creaking heart and then each time deliver it into your side's like goal area you need to get seven yo new mini game for the realm well, gamers is, is this time is are we put it into the goal it will spawn more creaking because you are actually activating uh, uh, the heart again mm -hmm. so <laughs> well, any final <laughs> do, 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 who's gonna win uh <laughs> The best one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the, best one. the one that delivers seven creaking hearts. Yeah, that's really yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yes, the so. one that does <laughs> seven creaking hearts. Okay, okay. I am going I'm collecting my stuff. on the count, and then I'm going to say go. On go, you're going to run in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Best of luck okay. to both of you. Okay, okay first, one. okay, there's already a lot of creaking. Oh, 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 oh. So then you're following the particles. 
and yeah. trying to get the creaky yes. part. Yes, yeah, this one was okay. easy to spot. When you yeah. get one, kind of tell Anna okay. and I, mm -hmm. since we're watching both okay, of your okay, yeah. screens. Got when you put it in the goal. <laughs> yes. Jens, yes. what's happening over there? I'm, get, I'm getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, first okay. one in. Marco had the first one in. But there's another one. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Jens, oh. you got one? Oh, uh, wait. That's uh -oh. that's cheating. I'm going to put it correctly. Yes. Ooh. Thank you, Jens. There okay, we go. Jens has his first one. <laughs> one to one. And then it will be one, so yeah. Anna, who do you think is going to take Oy. this? Well, it's very even right now, isn't it? But Marco looks like he's in a bit of a pickle. Oops, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make my keyboard <laughs> <quirky. laughs> yeah, I've seen, okay, I've seen hub videos now, go Jens like this. So Jens is now in the lead. Marco, come on! Sorry, sorry I, I'm too focused, I forgot oh, Where are they? There were three of them and now they're gone. Wait. Uh, maybe they went oh, to Jens. Oh, did you get one? Yes, oh, oh. Okay. here they are. Oh, okay. okay, on Marco's side, there are currently the three creaking look at, looking yes. at him. Run, Marco! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jens has okay. a third one. Okay, third. Jens has three. Ooh. There is a... Uh, like just hearing all of the sounds of like the snapping and yeah, oh, that, that we have one. Oh, 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 oh. Especially after knowing from Sandra, it was like mm. teeth okay. and pretzel sticks. Oh. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> whenever you hear a creaking, you're hearing yes. teeth come at you. <laughs> Four. All right, Jen's the teeth four. are gonna oh, get you. Are you still at two? Are you it about to die? Oh, yeah, I see. No, it's something. All right, I'm full of teeth. Oh no. But uh -oh. I guess don't eat next to it. There you have you okay. have sixty four okay, chicken. Okay, okay. Take a break. Okay. No, but cool. they can come from behind. Oh. Me. No. Okay. I'm oh, yeah, Wait, yeah, Jens, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Yes. I'm <laughs> just uh, Okay. Marco has some help coming coming okay. back slowly. Okay. I don't know which trees I've already done. Okay, okay. here's one. Okay. And there's the I'm three one. king and those one are No, let's see. Yeah, so you have five oh. And yes. wait, Jen's oh, yes. gonna yes. win. Oh. Let's go. But it's going okay. to get harder and harder to find the last one. Yes, that's that's true. Okay, oh, okay Marco just got <laughs> Never mind. Ouch. Take it back, take it back, and then eat again. Them. Eat again so you don't mm. die. Oh, Ouch. Oh, no, you, you tiny. Basically, there are creeping okay. everywhere now. Yes. Every time oh. you turn on. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, look at the answers. When you turned around, there were like six. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, but now. <laughs> There's one more here. Okay, but this far is. Oh, uh, wait. I, my if God. I only remembered. All right, so we're still I in this uh, for the, so the realm, it's right? It's like a horde of them following. Yeah. And we could, like, uh, we could randomize oh, where oh, the hearts go oh, every oh, time, oh, right? Oh, it's oh, like, oh, let the mods set it up, and then bam. You don't know where they are. This is a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. What's your problem, yes? I'm, lo I'm, lo I'm locked in, and I, can I can't move them. Uh, okay, I got out. I got, I got out. Yes, yes, you were actually trapped. Yes, so. I can't move them. So, okay, uh, seven. Hey. <laughs> it honestly oh, seems like okay. a pretty well, W uh, mini game yes, idea. Not hard. gonna lie, I mean, it's just like it seems like know. it gets like it's the more it goes, yes, the more intense you know, it gets. It. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Thank you three so much for playing. We're so excited for all of you to get to play this new game drop, having so much fun. You can play it in beta preview and snapshot very soon. Check minecraft.net and all of our Minecraft socials for more fun things coming soon. Yeah, so interesting so Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft like adapt and the after show. TikTok. Bye everyone. Bye. Like you like you Bye. got the Twitch drops, right? But now like Every time they do an event like this, you also get like a TikTok drop as well. And like I've, and, like what other video games really do that? At like, least not. <laughs> w W right W right at the end. So that was a Minecraft live. Uh, I like the new biome. I like the creaking the mine. The element animation stuff was, is wonderful. The Minecraft movie is looking better and better. The more I see it, the more I the more I think I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like there was just something. Uh, I don't know. Like it's like a huge event. Like Minecraft Live is supposed to be a huge event. I feel like it didn't really show off that much stuff. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. But just. 
I miss the mob vote. Maybe it's just as simple as I'm missing the mob votes. I just like, I feel like the mob votes are just like this huge big thing and it's like so much fun and you get to argue and you get to fight for the one you like. Uh, uh, and I don't know, it's just like, it, 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 it transcends Minecraft Live a bit. And it's just like this fun event, but then like everyone complain about it. I don't know, but... Uh, like I said, this is like my first real Minecraft Live that I've ever actually really watched. So like, I don't know if this was like a big update in Minecraft Live or a small update or average or what, so I don't know. But uh, I always like hearing about the Minecraft mob vote because it's just like, oh, which one do I, which one am I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, which one am I gonna root for? You know, it's just like you have that initial like, ooh, and then you have a, uh, oh, what's going on? Minecraft Live is what's going on. You know, you got that, you get that initial, ooh, I, 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 I'm excited to see them all, and it's just like, okay, I like this one for that one, I like that one, but I think this one's my favorite. I, that's my boy, that's my boy. And then you go online and you like fight for your boy, you fight, you argue, you have fun, it, yeah, it gets out of hand, and you just, uh, you know, you just have a good time. And you know, you just, as long as you don't take it too seriously, like it's just, it's mobs being added into Minecraft. I, I, I feel like people. Or just ta just take it too seriously like it not it's not that big of a deal it's just like you, you you know i don't know it's just like you know it might be a little upsetting if you don't get the mob you wanted specifically but you're still getting a, a whole new mob added into the game uh, that can change things a, a lot and i don't know and, and like it's not the biggest deal in the world of what you want it uh, you can only join my Minecraft realm when I'm streaming. Anyways, did you guys see the bee? So. That's, that's, it's over. It's over. It's over, gamers. It's over. 